Hi guys! Don't forget to subscribe our channel, Jailene and Nike143. Please like, just comment below, share, and press the bell button notification para masibaybayan nyo ang mga bagong videos namin. Hello, Madlang people! Today, I am going to talk about conversion. Conversion includes a change in behavior, but it goes beyond behavior. It is a change in our very nature. It is such a significant that the Lord and His prophets refer to it as a rebirth, a change of heart, and a baptism of fire. The first question is, what comes first, faith or conversion? Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ is essential to spiritual growth. Faith can increase. Faith leads to conversion. Conversion includes repentance, baptism, and the reception of the gift of the Holy Ghost. The second question is, what is salvation and conversion? Salvation is a conversion at the level of what people believe. And that conversion demands they know the truth takes place of the error they previously believed. The true Christian who has experienced the working of the Holy Spirit in regeneration will have a new perspective on truth. The third question is, how do you know when you are converted? When you are converted, you are more kind and compassionate in dealing with others. You don't judge or criticize or gossip. You are more aware of others' feelings and it becomes natural to look for ways to serve and help. The last and the fourth question is, how do I convert to Jesus? Converting to Christianity is based on your belief that Jesus is God's only begotten Son and that He does all manner of miracles including salvation. Christianity cries to save you and then entails living a good and godly life that is pleasing to God. To God. Both are important. So quotes Galing ni Bonnie L. Or Oscarson, it says, Through conversion, conversion is a process that takes place over a period of time and involves a willingness to, exer to exercise faith. Sa Isaiah chapter 6, verse 10, it says, Make the heart of the people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes. Let they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. Some Mark chapter 4 verse 12 it says, That seeing they may see and not perceive, and bearing they may hear and not understand, lest at any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven them. Sa Acts chapter 3, verse 19, it says, Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Sa Matthew chapter 18, verse 3, it says, And said, Verily I say unto you, Expect ye be converted, and become as little children. Ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. To be able to receive the blessings of eternal life, we need to be spiritual-minded and conquer our unrighteous desires. We need to, be, to change. More accurately, we need to be changed or converted through the power of the Savior's atonement and through the power of the Holy Ghost. This process is called conversion. 
Sinong gustong magpa-shout out? Just comment below para sa sunod naming videos. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Keep safe and God bless us all. Bye!